I smack that brisket ass. Smack that brisket ass. Smack that, smack that brisket on the flow. Ooh, 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 ooh. It feels like my tummy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy Milanakis. I like to combine cheap grocery items with rare and fancy things because it turns me on. I'm the fat prince. Is soliloquy an onomatopoeia? That's what we're gonna find out on today's episode of Fat Prince with Noah from Blood Sows Barbecue. Let's introduce our lovely guest and one of my long dear friends, Chelsea Peretti. All right, so the dish is called Limp Brisket. Get it, guys? Hopefully it's still kind of crispy, but we'll see. All right, it'll be limp but crispy, just like your mama. You get most of the credit for this dish. I was like, I was kind of drawing a blank. I did a few episodes and I wanted some real blood sows barbecue knowledge on how to fat princeify it. What are the store-bought grocery ingredients? Tater tots, like uh -huh. frozen ass, like frozen, tater tots. Like old school. Not ass tater tots, those are different. Those are sexy. Those are homemade. Mamacita. <laughs> and then onions, charred poblanos. I brought some of this from our coffee shop. We make these breakfast burritos with like smoked potatoes and smoked tomatillo hash. <laughs> I know you're too hungover to smell this, but. <laughs> it looks like my bedroom. <laughs> Do you have bowls of green semen in your bedroom? Oh no, don't make me bust a gut. And then our high-end ingredients are savruga, Russian sturgeon caviar. I got a fresh smoked brisket out of our smoker this morning from Blood Sows. Duck fat is pretty high-end. I mean, you don't see duck fat every day. No. Unless you live on a farm, then you're just like, hey, little ducks, and you pinch the little. Oh, like a live duck fat? This is like a live duck fat right here. You want to touch it? I do. Oh, touch, we... touch it some more. Can we smoke you at the restaurant? <laughs> Dude, you can smoke me out. And then you can feel my belly all day. Yeah, that <laughs> okay. works too. Sick, let's get cracking. Let's start charring our poblanos. Let's do it right on the flame. Just get them all blackened Ooh, up and charred. I always see people do that and I never do it. Let's see if we can get you to do it using only your hands and burn yourself. Turn on all four burners. Let's just all get four? these guys nice and charred up. Yes, sir. Put them wherever they fit. Just want to get a nice color. We want them to all blacken. <laughs> Did you just learn that fire's hot? <laughs> You told me you wanted to see me burn myself. I did it for you. Thanks, man. I did it for you, Dad. <laughs> so why did you start cooking barbecue in LA? Basically, this dude, Kevin Bloodsoe, down in Compton, was making the best barbecue in LA, hands down. I love uh -huh. this stuff. My buddy and I were talking about opening a restaurant. We just thought it'd be pretty awesome. It's like a little takeout stand in Compton. Yeah. And how cool it would be if we talked him into working with us. We uh, found a place, teamed up with him, uh, to help seal the deal, we went to his granny's 90th birthday in Corsicana, Texas. Got pretty shit-faced drinking like corn whiskey with old ladies. Uh -huh. And then uh, sealed the deal. I trained in Compton on the pits down there. We opened up. It's did like you a, get street cred because of that? Uh, I already had a bunch, but you did? It, it's helped it maintain. What's the bag for? Are we peeling it with the bag? You're going to take them out of, the, out of here, put them in the bag. Let's, actually, let's do that now. Okay. And then they're going to steam, and then the skins will peel right off. You ready to uh, peel some poblanos? I guess. Could you be a little more enthusiastic? <laughs> I guess. Dude, roasted peppers are the best. Now we'll chop these up into kind of loose hold little rods. Hold on, hold on, All right. But I have to wait to watch you do that. <laughs> yeah, I can't just chop poblanos. I want to show off. So what's next? I'm Let's getting off track. Let's check on these tater tots. Check on the tater tots. I'm going to see if they're ready. We want it to be a little crispy, ideally. Whoa. Can I eat a piece? Yeah, let me, let me do a slice. So look at this guy right here. This oh. is our nice juicy brisket. Just fucking pop it in. Mm. I want to be a dick to you, but I can't because your flavors are so good. What do we got to do next? So we're basically going to fry up our onions and our poblanos. We could use oil, but I think we should just use duck fat because let's Fuck get all that. fucking princely with it, right? Duck fat. Now let's get our onions sweating out over here. After they sweat a little, then is throw that, on the poblanos. Then we put the poblanos. Then we'll throw the brisket in. Then we'll do these guys. Throw a little of the salsa in. Fry up a couple eggs. Put the eggs on top, and Woo! then just put a fucking caviar on the eggs. Sick. Let's see if I can get one in your mouth. All right. How far away should I be? Really close. How about like that? All right. First try. First fucking try. Whoa, that looks amazing. Yeah. Let's try this. See how it's tasting now. I think now we can put a little more salt in here. Let's add some tater tots for this bitch. How are you at frying eggs? I'm, I'm, I'm not bad. All right, I'm gonna crack some eggs. Whoa, bro. 
This is like the best thing I've ever seen. I think we're ready to put our caviar on this and fucking serve it, right? I think so, yeah. Let's each take a little spoon. This is so us. We gotta serve this in the pan. Oh yeah. And then let's garnish it with a little hot sauce. A little crystal. A little good southern hot sauce. We did it. We even got a little wood grain thing to, to put it down on. You guys really thought of it all. We'll take her plate and serve her up. So this is a brisket hash, or smoked brisket from Bloodsoes with tater tots, charred poblanos, some of our smoked tomatillos, all fried up with some onions, and then we fried some eggs on top. Andy did the eggs. Okay, yeah, it seems like a well-cooked egg, Andy. Thank you, thank you, I'm good at stuff. Mm. I mean, that is good. So what do you like about this dish the most? The caviar is a little like fishy in the mix, and it's yeah. kind of good. But maybe not in that proportion, you know? But aside from that, this is so good. I mean, yeah, yeah you could serve this at any. So your restaurant. favorite component is you don't like the caviar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I took a negative approach, it's true. It's not fair fun. to you, and it's not fair to Andy. My favorite is the tater tots. <laughs> I write questions uh, every week for you guys to ask each other. This time I wrote them when I was drunk. Have you read them since you were drunk? Not really. So Chelsea, you're on a show called Brooklyn Nine-Nine. 69 is a famous sex position. Could 99 ever be a sex position? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do I have to elaborate? You could if you want to make this show good. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm torn. You're from the Bay. Mm -hmm. People from the Bay say hella a lot. What is your idea of a hella good meal? Chez Panisse is an Alice Waters restaurant in Berkeley, California. Real emphasis on produce, Andy, and okay. fresh, light, Flavors. That's they have a cute. great goat cheese salad, great little pizzas. Boring. Well, you asked. <laughs> okay, flag on the play. Next one. Is Andy Sandberg Jewish? Yes. <laughs> hey, he actually came over to a restaurant once and I spilled water on him. Bragging. Really? He was very cool about it. Bragging. He could tell he was secretly seething. What would be the tastiest pet to barbecue? People have pigs as pets, and pigs are the pretty tasty barbecue. Nice one. Nice way out. Also, nice. dog is really good. Have you tried dog? No, I did order for fake dog meat stew at a Korean restaurant because they're not allowed to serve it for like real deep locals, and they use lamb instead. The woman, yeah, I learned right. how to say it in Korean, and the woman was mortified that I ordered it. What's the best worst fast food or grocery? Barbecue. I mean, I have a barbecue place now. I just eat barbecue. I know, bro, but oh, work with me here. I fucking wrote these he's questions for you. I wrote these questions for you. I wrote these questions for you. Oh, questions for oh, you. Man. oh God. Uh, I will say this. Uh, I did try the Arby's brisket. And you loved it. Next. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> it was. Uh, it was better than a lot of smoked brisket I've That's had. That's crazy. They wow. leave. To, they cut too much of the fat off of it, and they cut it way too thin. Uh -huh. But they I actually. I might love that. Diet brisket. <laughs> Diet brisket. <laughs> Yo, Diet brisket. let's do a commercial for Diet brisket oh right my now. God. Diet brisket. <laughs> it's what's for dinner. <laughs> Diet brisket. I'm loving it. <laughs> I like it. What gets a waiter fired at your restaurant? Sleeping with me, you're definitely fired. That's you're right. out the door immediately. That's what makes it so hot. He's like, you know you're gonna get fired. I'm gonna fuck you till I fire you. I'm gonna fuck you till you're fired. I'm gonna fuck you into unemployment. <laughs> so we're gonna have sex with you. I think you don't know what sex is. <laughs> if you really stabbed him, is that what you're gonna say? If you really <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm laughing about the fact that if you really did it and then I take it, <laughs> I'm <gonna stab> you. <laughs> Dude, so many layers, just like your brisket flavors. Uh, Let's group hug. Group hug, guys. Mm -hmm. Get your face out of <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so good.